Hello beauties, I am back with something very exciting and I say exciting because I found new drugstore makeup. Yes, that's right. New drugstore makeup from two um, drugstore brands that I enjoy trying a lot. I won't lie, I have quite a few of uh, their products, but the items that I purchased this time, I've never used and I want to try. Uh, some of them I've never used the color or I've never used the product itself. And excuse my fingers, but I have been swatching uh, because this is not the only video that I have recorded today, but um, let's get started. Uh, I'm not sure if you have one of these uh, stores uh, in your local area, but I purchased uh, these products at Walgreens, um, which is like Rite Aid, CVS. So if you do have some of those stores in your area, it's usually, it's like, it's one of those drug stores, a uh, small drug store where you can find uh, <laughs> makeup, products that you need for the house, for yourself, for uh, your prescriptions and so on. Again, it's a small drugstore. So I did find these items there, great deals. By the way, they also do reward points. So if you do end up accumulating points, you're able to get uh, that money discounted from uh, the points converted into, of course, dollars. And then you get that taken uh, off your um, your purchase uh, if you want to or you continue to accumulate them uh, but let me let you see what I found again two of these brands it's only two brands that I purchased products from and that is Wet n Wild and NYX um, so I was very excited to find them one because the products that I purchased were uh, per I purchased them at a discounted price so I either bought one and got the other one 50% off or the color that I purchased was on sale nothing in this bag is over six dollars so the most expensive item if I'm not mistaken was $5.49 not bad for a drugstore makeup haul right so Let's start with Wet n Wild. And the first product that I'm going to show you from uh, Wet n Wild is uh, Instant Flawless Complexion. It highlights, it conceals, it lifts. So this is a, it says Illuminati, highlighting and concealing pen. So it highlights and it conceals. So it works both ways but of course you know a lot of your concealers work like that uh, they they highlight and they conceal and I say highlight because when you uh, apply your concealer you apply it to the area uh, where you want uh, emphasis for it to be where you want lightness to show up which is the areas right here here and up here in any other areas that you might want to lighten up but those are usually it so yes this is pretty much a concealer a concealing pen and the um color i got is posing nude um so there it is now the next one is our wet and wild first gel lip liner this is in the color uh, Doll in Love Again. And this is what it looks like. Now, this one, I have used this type of lip liner before, but not this color. So I went ahead and got it because uh, if I'm not mistaken, I paid a dollar and change for it. It was on sale. Like I said, some of these products... I purchased because I saw that uh, it was a great deal and it was a color that I had not uh, used before so I went ahead and got that I wasn't gonna pass up a good deal do you think I was nah I wasn't um, the next wet and wild and I am going to tell you I purchased two of these and the reason I purchased two of these 
and the same uh, color is because I purchased one for myself and one for my daughter. Sometimes when I see things that I know that she will use, I go ahead and purchase two of the items if they are worth the buck. And these are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzers. I purchased two of the same tone. It's called Bikini Contests, number 740. And uh, I love the Wet n Wild bronzers. I think they are great for how affordable they are. And usually these are about $5 and I paid uh, $2.39 for them. So they were a great deal. And these are huge. I mean, look at this. They're huge. So this can last you a while. You won't hit pan for a while unless that's the only, the only bronzer that you use. And then the next Wet n Wild uh, item that I purchased is this beautiful shimmer palette. Look at this. I mean, this can be a bronzer, a highlighter, uh, just a little bit of both. So I think this is beautiful, big size. I also uh, paid less than $3 for this. And this is a uh, shimmer palette and the color is Sangria Castles. That's that right there. Sangria Castles. And then of course it has the number. But I thought that was beautiful. And then of course I purchased two of these as well. These are liquid highlighters. Now these to me, because of the color, I would definitely use it more uh, as a bronzer. Um, my daughter might use it as a highlighter because she is darker than I am, but I, uh, would use it as a bronzer. I mean, maybe give me a little bit of highlight, just a little bit right here. Uh, but it is, I feel like it is too much of a dark tone for me to say it would be just a straight highlighter. I would probably have to mix it with a different color. I'm not sure. We'll see. But this is uh, a great item that I got for under $2. I mean, this is was a great deal. So I did purchase two. And of course, it does say that it's a new item. I've never tried it. And of course, as you can tell, I love my eyeshadows. So I had to. I had to get these. Look at this. I mean... These are some beautiful, beautiful colors. It's a little, little palettes uh, from Wet n Wild. Uh, one, it says Rose in the Air, which is this one. And then this one says Comfort Zone, which uh, I don't know why it says, why it's named Comfort Zone, because the colors that you see in this palette are definitely not colors that would be in anybody's comfort zone if they are beginners. I would say more this palette here. But either way, these are two beautiful small palettes and it even tells you, I'm going to open one if I can break it. I forgot. These are sealed and they are sealed tightly. Okay, finally, <laughs> I opened it. That was a heck of a try. Oh, never mind. There's another little tab right here. Because they really don't want you to open these, which is a good thing. So that means people don't swatch these. Um, look at how beautiful this is. And what I wanted to show you is that this says transition. It tells you what you can actually use this color for. And then at the bottom, it has a darker transition shade. So it's up to you which one you want to use at your, as your transition shade. Some people stay within the color of their eyelid. Others go in for a darker tone. It's all your look, depending on the look you want that day. So definitely something um, that you can vary. And, and then it has five colors on each strip here. Actually, <laughs> it has four colors on each strip here. And these colors right here, you'll see this one and this one are mattes. These are shimmers. And then the rest of these are mattes. So as you can notice in this palette here, if you are a matte lover, you would love this little palette right here because there's only two shimmers. 
that you work with. Everything else is a matte. So this is definitely a nice little palette that you could use to get a beautiful fall look. Um, so I did enjoy purchasing this. And then this one right here, same thing. You got a lighter transition shade at the bottom, a darker one, I mean, a lighter transition shade on top, a darker one at the bottom, and then four shades on each side, which like I said, this one says comfort zone, but I don't see any beginner being comfortable with these colors here. But anybody else that already works or likes uh, playing with makeup definitely would enjoy these colors. Now, what I do see here is that the only mattes in this palette are the transitions. Everything else is either a shimmer or a satin finish. Um, I see satin finish up here, this one here, and possibility of that one there and maybe even this one right here but besides that everything else has glitter um and of course the shim the the satin finish still has a little bit of that um shimmer and glitter to it but not as much as these others right here uh, so if you are not a shimmer or a glitter fan or you know you do you like you want to stay more on the matte end this is something that you are not going to like you would prefer to stay with this one your matte lover definitely this one you like those shimmers and that bling and so on you would like this one I like both depends on what I want to wear that day. So guess what? I got both. And there is a third one out there, but I was not too fond of the colors in that third one. I thought these were the best for me. So I went ahead and purchased these two. And another reason why I only purchased two is because it was buy one, get the other one half off. So I paid $4.99 for this one. And then I got this one it was supposed to be for $2.50, but when I got to the register, the lady said that it was, uh, this palette here was $1.25 with the 50% off, not $2.50. So uh, I'm not sure why I had an extra 50% off, but I took it. And uh, so I definitely, definitely got a great deal here because I got two palettes for $6.25. How about that? So that was great there. And that is everything from Wet n Wild. Now, guess what? I have NYX. And NYX, I purchased, let's start with this item here. Uh, this is the NYX Hydra Touch powder foundation now uh never used it never tried it i bought the beige the color beige uh but what i like and what i definitely definitely why i definitely grabbed this and it uh, just bam my attention was that it said hydra touch that's interesting it says two-way cake powder it says versatile wet or dry formulation. Ah, matte and silky finish. Provides flawless coverage. It says formulated with soothing and moisturizing botanical extracts, including chamomile and cactus extra extracts to help keep skin feeling soft and supple. So, I'm glad I picked it up. And again, this was... I think this was the most expensive product of everything that I purchased. Um, this was almost $6. It was five and change. But again, nothing in here was more than $6. So I was very, very excited. Um, very excited to see how that works for me. Because again, if you've seen some of my other videos, you will definitely keep hearing and hearing that I suffer from very dry skin, so I do have to keep it very moisturized, and so does my daughter, um, and she suffers from eczema, so even other uh, skin issues, but uh, moisturizing our skin is a must. 
So anything that can hydrate it, even better. So we'll see how that works. Next, I have something that I have never purchased from NYX. One, I don't purchase many of these because again, due to my dry skin, I avoid them. Um, but it was on sale, one. Two, uh, a lot of my friends use it. And I want it, I've been wanting to try it because I see that it looks nice on their skin, but again, some of them have combination, some of them have oily. I'm the only one that I know that has this very dry skin issue um, besides my mom and my daughter. So I stay away from these, but I went ahead and purchased it. So I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> Uh, this is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. It says oil-free, water-based, full coverage, mineral-enriched, matte finish. That's this right here. Wish me luck. In total, I think mattifying, I only have about four. Uh, another one that I can tell you that is really good, even though it is a mattifying foundation, but it is for normal... Uh, to oily skin is this one right here and this is the fit me foundation from Maybelline uh, I don't use it that often but I will tell you that I use this more over the summer over the hotter days you know when you want your makeup to stay and not melt that's when I use the mattifying foundations um, another one is the elf this one here does feel kind of dry a lot more than these here but it's still a product that i will use over the summer including the foundation sticks um but this one uh and you know the mattifying ones and which again i don't have many i will use definitely over the hotter days uh over the summer so <laughs> I'm going to try this one again. I try to avoid these mattifying foundations, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And I will let you know, I will uh, update you on my um, venture with these mattifying foundations. Um, try to stay away from them, but definitely get uh, encouraged to use some of them because of how they look on other people's skin but not everything works on you the same it will on someone else because everybody's skin is definitely different as you all know uh, I have three more products from NYX because I keep ranting and forget to show you what I have um, the next one is the cheek contour duo palette this is from NYX as well and uh, this is double date. So I went ahead and got this cute little contour palette. I will tell you, I love the packaging. It reminds me of Kat Von D packaging. Um, it is sealed also. Oh my gosh. These seals on these things are amazingly good, which is a good thing because people won't swatch these items, but crap it takes a lot to open them once you have them at home but there you have it contour palette I thought that it was a nice little item which was about four dollars not a bad deal and then I got this NYX butter gloss uh, lip gloss here in the color peach crisp so this and this will make a very, very nice duo. Uh, so very excited that I purchased both of these. I've, I've had some of these before, but I do not have that color. It was a good price, so I went ahead and bought it. I think I paid $1.79 for it, which is not a bad deal at all. And then I also got this lipstick from NYX right here very very neutral tone uh, and it is it says lip smacking fun colors extra creamy lipstick in color wow 
it doesn't say the color or a name, it just has the number 590. So I guess that is uh, how they go with these lipsticks. Oh, never mind. It does have the name. It's over here. <laughs> it is honey. <laughs> so the color, the color uh, of this lipstick is honey. And this is the last item that I purchased from NYX. I'm going to open this one because I want to see this color. I've never used it and I only paid a dollar and change for this lipstick as well. Uh, even though NYX is a drugstore product, it's really not that cheap. So I did get a good deal on these items. And that's the color there. So it's a very, very neutral neutral color very nude so if you go for the dramatic eye and the nude lip this would work great and that is it that is everything that i purchased uh from both of these brands and very excited to use every single one of these items i did not purchase anything here that is not for me except for that bronzer and that uh, highlighter that I purchased two of because I'm giving one to my daughter and keeping one myself. She is racking up her makeup collection. I don't know if that's a good thing because her mom has a big one. And uh, sometimes it's not good. <laughs> I wanted to show you the gloss and how it feels. Again, I have used this product before. I enjoy it. It is uh, very sheer and uh, you can apply it on top of any color you wish. You can even change the color that you already have on uh, and go from there. But yes, I like this color. Really nice. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you find some of these awesome deals at your local drugstore, whether it's Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, I'm not sure, whichever one you have. Make sure that you take advantage of the reward points that you accumulate if they uh, do uh, reward points and make sure you take advantage of the sales. Buy one, get one 50% off, great deals. Buy one, get one free. I didn't have any of those this time, but I did find everything that I purchased on sale or buy one, get one 50% off, which was an amazing, an amazing deal. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you on my next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Happy holidays.